This is a question on horizontal alignment. We're told that we're supposed to use the following information about tangents and curves for an alignment, and we should draw the layout of the horizontal alignment. So we need to make sure we, we draw this, and we also need to label the features of each component, the stationing and geometric elements. We're told that the project begins at station 31 plus 67 with tangent T1, so that's in this table here, with a bearing of south, 22 degrees, 14 minutes, 54 seconds west. The project starts with a grade of negative 2.32% at an elevation of 3,244.8 feet. Now we're only asked for horizontal information here, so this is really kind of just a distraction. So we really want to just cross through this vertical alignment information. It has nothing to do with horizontal alignment. We're also told that the project ends 100 feet after the PT of curve three. So when we're doing our stationing, we need to make sure we take it to that final point where the project actually ends. So here are our two tables. We've added a little bit of the geometric information. We know that we need to add some geometric information and that it's also necessary to calculate our stationing of our curve. And so we've added in columns here for the radius and the length. And we'll use these equations to find each of these values. The radius is equal to the tangent t from this column divided by the tangent of the delta divided by 2. And the length is 100 times delta divided by the degree of curvature. And we can get the degree of curvature from the radius where the radius is equal to 18,000 divided by pi times the radius. That'll give us the degree of curvature. So I'll go ahead and add this equation in here. So the degree of curvature is equal to 18,000 over pi times the radius. So let's start adding these values in now and, and drawing out our alignment. So we started with at point 31 plus 67 with an bearing of south, 22 degrees, 14 minutes, 54 seconds west. So the line should look approximately like this. Next, we're going to turn an angle, a delta of 71 degrees, 7 minutes, 48.3 seconds to the left. And that's as we're going along the alignment, so that's the way the, the next tangent should look. Then at that point, we're going to turn 42 degrees, 40 minutes, 16.8 seconds to the right. So we'll turn back to the right there. And then finally, our last turn will be 22 degrees, 16 minutes, 40.6 seconds to the left. So this is roughly our alignment, and it's... This is not to scale, but just it gives us a sense of what we're working with, the, the correct turns, starting with the bearing that we're given, and then turning our deflection, our delta angles at those points of intersection, the PI. So each of those circles that we draw here are our PIs. Okay, so now let's start doing our stationing. So here's our, our alignment for the project. I've got the curve and tangent information at the top of the screen. For PI1, this is going to be the beginning station, 31 plus 67, plus the length of the first tangent, plus T for curve 1. So this is 3167 plus 576.19 plus 248.93. Gives us a PI1 station of 39 plus 92.12. Next, we can determine our PC1. So this is going to be our PI1 minus T1. So 3992.12 minus 248.93 equals a PC station of 37 plus 43.19. And at this point, for stationing, we're going to run along the curve. So we're no longer going through our, tan through our PI along our tangents. So we need that little circular curve portion in there. 
to find our PT, this is PC1 plus length 1, so 3743.19 plus 432.21 equals a PT station of 41 plus 75.4. And now moving on to our second curve, the PI for curve 2 is the PT of curve 1 plus the tangent length T2 plus the tangent of curve 2. So it's 4175.4 plus 177.36 plus 312.44 gives us a PI2 station of 46 plus 65.2. Next, we can go back and calculate our PC2. This is PI2 minus T2, the tangent for curve 2. So we have 4665.2 minus 312.44 gives us a PC2 station of 43 plus 52.76. We need to now, we're going to leave the tangent. This is going to be the circular curve portion that's going to take us to our PT2. So PT2 is PC2 plus length of curve 2. So 4352.76 plus 595.73 gives us a PT2 station of 49 plus 48.49. Now moving on to the PI of curve 3. So we have 4948.49 plus the tangent length T3, 269.99 plus the tangent of curve 3, 254.22 gives a PI3 station of 54 plus 72.7. I'm going to go back to locate the PC of curve 3, and that's PI3 minus the tangent of curve 3. So 54.72.7 minus 254.22 equals 52 plus 18.48. And that will give us PC3. Now again, we encounter the circular curve part of this to find the PT of curve 3, and that is equal to the PC of curve 3 plus the length of curve 3 equals 5218.48 plus 502.02 gives us a PT3 station of 57 plus 20.5. And the end of the project is going to be at PT3 plus 100 feet. So we end up with 58 plus 20.5 for our final end of project. And there's the final arc for curve 3 as well. So those are our three curves. We had a beginning station, 31 plus 67. And we end up with our end of project at station 58 plus 20.5.